Welcome back and in this video we're going to talk about how you can um, use a table in WatchKit uh, for Apple Watch. So as you can see I already have a table in our app and I've opened up all the layers over here. So as you can see we have the table on the outer then within this we have a table row controller just like on iOS. Within um, our table view controller we have a group to contain all the objects for this row. So for the, just to begin this tutorial, we're going to go through, we're going to add the objects to our table view row. So this is the same as uh, dragging objects into the view of a table view row on iOS. So just for convenience, I'm going to just drag in a label and I'll set the horizontal position, sorry, the vertical position to center. So it's in the middle of the button. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So just like a table view row in uh, iOS, we need to create a controller for our particular row um, in WatchKit as well. So we're just going to open this menu. We'll go up here, and then we'll go into our table view. Uh, sorry, our WatchKit tutorial, WatchKit extension. Click in here, and in here we could create our table row controller. We go file new file. We want a from over here on the side. We want WatchOS source WatchKit class. And we just want to go row controller. And it is a NS object. You want it to be a subject class of NS object. Uh, row controllers don't have special classes in WatchKit, at least not yet. Okay, so we have our new controller here. Just go across. Now we need to connect this controller with our row, our row controller. So we click row controller. We go up to the little newspaper like thing. And we go row controller. Okay, so they're all connected together. Now we can link each of these objects in our UI to our controller. So then we can access them from our code when we're setting up our table. So manual, auto, row controller. And we just want to control drag over our row label. Row label. Okay, that's probably spelt wrong, but who gets? Now we go back. Now that we have our label connected to our controller, now we need to actually put that data into our uh, table. So we do that, of course, here in the interface uh, awake with context. And I'm going to get our data from an array. So there array of objects equals, of course, it's an array. So And I'm just going to put it an array of strings that we'll put into that uh, label. Okay, so we have that array. Now we can actually start. So the first thing we do is set the number of rows we have in our table. To do that, uh, sorry, we need to connect our table to our interface controller. So uh, table outlet, and we'll just enter there. First we go here. Go table outlet dot set number of rows our int so we want to get our length of our array which is uh, I don't know what because uh, we haven't used it yet so we'll just use it now array of objects dot count will give us the length of that array now that error should go away why is it not going away yeah we can use a let there that's a good idea as you can see Xcode is trying to minimize the resources your app uses by using a let which is a constant um, and finally we want the row type so again just like Xcode we have a row identifier and so we click on our row go here we set up our identifier so I'm just going to call it row so our row identifier will be row okay now this is going to of course put uh, however many objects in our array, rows into our table. The final thing we need to do is set up each row in our table. Now, unlike iOS, where you have a delegate and each row is called in the delegate, where, of course, you set it up, um, with WatchKit, we need to call the table and set up our, each of our rows ourselves. So I'm going to use a for loop. So for uh, there, i equals 0 while i first to, uh, 
is larger than array of objects.count. And of course, each time we want to enumerate up one. So that's wrong. Uh, I plus plus. Okay, so first we want to get the row itself. So there, row equals table. Uh, table outlet dot row controller at index and of course we're passing the index of the current row we want to look at so I now we want our there we want our uh, label uh, value so we'll just get uh, the object from the array so array of objects I equals that so now that we have our row and we have what we want to put on the label we can call row and then we subclass down into our row label from the object. So we'll just have a look what we called it here. So we called it row label, spelt wrong. Who cares? Okay, take that back. Row label dot, of course, remember, set text. And this isn't working because we need to go as. Um, what our variable is so row controller okay now this should go away in a second just making it worse yep okay now we want to set what our row text is as a variable which is label value and there we have it we have set our label in our row now just see what it wants us to do on each of these and we can run our app now as you can see we have our three little labels in there our three rows and we can click it in the next video i'm going to walk you through how to handle row selects and also how to handle row selects to another interface controller and passing the data between those two interface controls the row select is going to be the next video and the interface controller uh, segue thing is going to be the video after that so i hope you watch those videos